AP Computer Science A or AP Computer Science Principles. Which AP Computer Science class should you be taking in high school? Hey, my name is Nikhil. Welcome back to Mastery Chess. And I took both AP Computer Science A and AP Computer Science Principles in high school. And with that experience, I'm going to be breaking down which computer science class you should take in high school. Let's get into it. Okay, so first for some context, I want to break down exactly what each of these classes actually cover. There are some very big differences, so please bear with me. Now, AP Computer Science A is the longer standing computer science course in the sense that it's been around there for decades, whereas Computer Science Principles is a relatively new course built in the last decade. So with AP Computer Science A, it is a Java based coding class, meaning you're gonna be learning Java throughout the course, whether it's through just learning how to answer things through multiple choice questions, you're gonna be doing labs in the class where you're gonna actually be applying that coding in the labs and on your tests likely, as well as your AP tests, there's FRQs where you're basically coding um, and it's actually written instead of um, coding like on an actual computer. So just keep that in mind. But at the end of the day, you're covering Java based content. So if you're trying to do something like Python or C++, C++, if you're trying to learn something like that, maybe this class isn't right for you. There's nine units and you're kind of cover everything from primitive data types to objects, classes, you know, arrays, array lists, 2D arrays, all that kind of basic computer science stuff. Now, on the other hand, AP Computer Science Principles is meant more as an introductory level course. It's known as one of the easiest AP classes, honestly. And the reason for that is that there's just not that much content in it. And also you're not actually doing any hard coding. Um, and what I mean by that is it's up to the teacher's discretion which language to teach you. Now, our teacher did block coding and a lot of other schools do block coding because like I said, this is meant to be an introductory, super easy kind of class. Not super easy, but you know, it's relatively easy compared to other AP classes. Granted at your school, it might be Java, it might be Python, but I'd recommend that you talk to your teacher about that. Now with that said, that means you're not going to be learning as much real world coding and stuff like that. A lot of our labs were super simple, like just coding like a scratch type of like tic-tac-toe game and it was like just super super simple and on top of that the class isn't so much about learning how to code it's about learning more technology related stuff whether it's learning about the internet how you know networks work how the digital divide works how different pieces of technology come together and it's more of a general broad overview of technology than it is to cs computer science or coding so keep that in mind Okay, so the first thing I want you guys to consider when making your decision is what your career interest is. If you are going into a computer science field, I highly recommend that you take AP Computer Science A if you have to decide between the two. If you have the time, I'd honestly recommend taking both. I mean, just because you're going to CS, you might as well take both. Um, but honestly, if you have to make a choice, definitely go with CSA because that coding is going to be extremely vital to your role and I know a lot of schools offer CS classes after that and CSP tends not to be something that can satisfy that requirement to go down that pathway. Now, even if you're not going to CS, I think you guys need to consider the fact of if you wanna learn how to code. Honestly, in this day and age, a lot of times everyone needs to code, in my opinion. Everyone needs to know at least how the internet works, how, how to code, at least kind of the basic understanding of how, what goes into these things. And because of that, I think that on a day-to-day -day basis, computer science principles concepts are really useful because you learn things like the digital divide, which is like how different communities have access to certain things and other communities don't. And I honestly think for the average person that's going into a humanities-based field and not a STEM-based field, computer science principles is a great option because you still need some sort of technology, you know, knowledge in this day and age where honestly everything we're doing is on a piece of technology, I'm recording this video on a piece of technology of a computer right here, or a monitor right here, or a computer right here, right? You have to know how to use it, but you don't necessarily need to know how to hard code and code in like Java and things like that as in computer science A. Now, I will say, if you are trying to go in a STEM field, maybe it's math, statistics, something like that, or engineering, I do think that you should also be taking AP Computer Science A instead of AP Computer Science Principles. And the reason for that is, Coding is just necessary in a lot of fields like software engineering. A lot of the engineering fields require you to be knowing how to code. And there's a lot of coding applications. Like I know a lot of people want to do finance or business in uh, college and major in that. And they have to know how to code to apply certain things like automated models and things like that. And so I highly recommend that you're doing that if you're going into STEM. 
Now the second consideration to make is your, the GPA impacts. Honestly, AP Computer Science is a lot tougher than AP Computer Science principles and this is something that's pretty known nationwide unless your school is an exception, honestly. Uh, the, it's a lot easier to get a five on the AP Computer Science Principles exam than it is the AP Computer Science A exam as well. So if you're looking for just an easy GPA boost, maybe you're a senior, you don't want to do anything, you're just kind of clocked out from school if you know what I mean, just I would take AP Computer Science Principles if you're just looking for an easy AP. Now I'd also consider kind of your STEM ability and intelligence. Like if you already know how to code or like you've done some, you know, like coding on the side, you've done Scratch or kind of done something, I highly recommend you just go to that APCSA route, just challenge yourself, you know, get it done. And I think it'll be really beneficial to you. Um, and on the other hand, if I think, I think if you're like a slower learner or something like that, and you're just kind of looking to get through an AP class for your freshman that hasn't taken an AP class before, AP Computer Science Principles is a great option to just start off with, like I said, because I honestly think it's like a gateway to AP classes because it's like right in between the difficulty of a regular class and an AP class. It's really not as difficult as most AP classes. So it could be a good gateway to that if you're just not as quick of a learner or you are a freshman. Okay, and the last thing I want you guys to consider is AP scores and college credit. So typically AP Computer Science Principles is not nearly as widely accepted as a credit as AP CSA. And the reason for that is that there's really not a standardized curriculum and hard coding that you're actually learning in CSP. So there's not many college equivalents to that classes at a lot of these colleges. So even if you are a humanities major, I want you to look at your college requirements, you know, at the colleges that you're considering. If you see that they are requiring a tech credit from you and AP CSA could satisfy it, Maybe it's in your best interest to get that knocked out if you just never want to take the course again, right? Um, and on the other hand, like if you're in STEM, AP CSA could be the better option for you if you could be receiving AP credit. I know at a lot of these top colleges, they don't accept certain credits, even if it's CSA or you need a five or as high as a four or five really. And so just look into the AP credit policies at your school because it would be a, in your best interest to if they take the AP Computer Science A credit for you to just get that course knocked out to either just not have to take a tech credit if you're in humanities or to just uh, you know go down that pathway even further in college if you're in a STEM career or computer science field. And on the other hand, I was saying, you know, CSP doesn't really give that much credit. And if it does, that's great. And I think, you know, I was mentioning that whole humanities thing. If your school offers credit, that college offers credit for both computer science and computer science principles, and you're just looking for that easy grade, just take computer science principles instead, honestly. Um, but honestly, at the end of the day, I want you guys to consider these three things as well as stuff that you've heard from your personal high school. You know, talk to your counselor, talk to your friends, your family who's taken these classes because honestly, these things can vary from school to school. So just do your own research. All right, I appreciate y'all sticking around to the end of this video. I hope this helped you guys a lot. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button down below and comment below which videos you want me to cover next and which topics. See you in the next one.